I stand before you today, before the nation, not as a senator, not as an elected official, but as a humble South Carolinian. The past week has been one of terrible tragedy and amazing unity. Last Wednesday night, we experienced an unimaginable tragedy. Nine men and women, nine mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, sons, daughters, lost forever. The hateful and racist actions of one deranged man have changed nine families forever. It has changed South Carolina forever, Charleston forever. But what we saw from the nine families at last Friday's bond hearing was simple. It was powerful and absolutely the best of who we are as Americans. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I was back in the cloakroom and I had the opportunity to talk to one of the victim's son, Daniel Simmons Jr. And I was talking to him back there and I said, is there anything you want me to share when I go to, on the floor of the Senate? He said, please share that God cares for his people. God still lives. I was amazed. And then he said with great enthusiasm and energy, a sense of excitement, uh, that this evil attack would lead to reconciliation, restoration, and unity in our nation. Those were powerful words. It is with great sadness and amazing hope that our future as a nation has been changed. It has been changed because one person decided to murder nine. It has been changed because the response of those nine families has been so courageous, so inspiring. If you would just pause for nine seconds, a second for each one, I would appreciate it. Thank you. In closing, I want to thank all my colleagues in the Senate and in the House for their kind words over the past week and for the prayers that continue to come into our city from across the nation. We are Charleston, we are South Carolina, and we are absolutely united. And we are committed to replacing hate with love, pain with kindness, and ill will and hostility with goodwill and comfort. 